understanding wicked problems. At some level, all organizational changes are wicked problems. That is, they have characteristics that make them best guesses at the way the organization should change and move forward. Inherently, organizational transformational changes meet many of the criteria for wicked problems, and they are therefore unsolvable. So what are wicked problems? It was 1973 when Horst Riddle and Melvin Weber first spoke about the idea of wicked problems. In their article, Dilemmas in a General Theory of Planning, they exposed a set of constraints that they felt prevented a general theory of planning. They realized that in social planning, there weren't always clean answers, clear precedents, or stopping rules. In the article, they formulated 10 criteria for problems that would define them as wicked. They are, one, there is no definitive formulation of a wicked problem. Two, wicked problems have no stopping rules. There's no end to it. Three, solutions to wicked problems are not true or false, but good or bad. Four, there is no immediate and no ultimate test of a solution to a wicked problem. Five, every solution to a wicked problem is a quote-unquote one-shot operation because there is no opportunity to learn by trial and error. Every attempt counts significantly. Six, wicked problems do not have an innumerable or exhaustively describable set of potential solutions, nor is there a well-described set of permissible operations that may be incorporated into the plan. 7. Every wicked problem is essentially unique. 8. Every wicked problem can be considered to be a symptom of another problem. 9. The existence of a discrepancy representing a wicked problem can be explained in numerous ways. The choice of the explanation determines the nature of the problem's resolution. 10. The planner has no right to be wrong. So what does this mean for wicked change? Most executives, change managers, and change agents find it difficult to quantify their change and know when they've done enough of the change. Most transformational changes that are proposed aren't the ones where the effect can be easily measured and quantified quickly. In most cases, it takes time to measure the impact of the change on the organization and to see what the net impact is, whether it was positive or negative. Whatever the change attempt, its success or failure will influence the ability to successfully implement future change. In short, transformational change is wicked. In most cases, it exhibits most, if not all, of the criteria that Riddle describes. The impact is profound because linear models are insufficient for addressing wicked problems. They don't yield to simplistic, formulaic approaches. Instead, they require approaches that iterate and adapt to the changing conditions that occur to mitigate negative outcomes that are caused by the change. Something wicked this way comes. A striking example of wicked problems is pointed to by Everett Rogers in The Diffusion of Innovations, and it's the work of Lauriston Sharp to understand quote-unquote steel axes for Stone Age Australians. The situation is that missionaries wanted to spread the gospel, and as a part of that, they offered steel axe heads to Australian Aboriginal tribes who had previously only had access to stone axe heads. While the multiple goals were positive in intent, the outcome of the intervention were quite negative. The tribes found themselves in a period of greater prostitution and murders that were committed with the new steel axe heads. In retrospect, the disruption of the social structure, which had the young men ritually asking the elder men for the stone axe heads, because they were the ones that owned them, 
replacing that with steel versions, which were more freely available, it should have been predictable that there would be some problems. However, in the moment, no one considered the destabilization of the social order. This is often the case in organizations that introduce transformational change efforts without the ability to predict what will happen when the change is implemented.